the Workers Music Association. And this was founded in 1936 uh, by Alan Bush and a man called Will Sarnow. Alan Bush was one of the most eminent British composers of the early to mid 20th century, though he lived a very long life, nearly a hundred years. Um, Alan Bush was a committed communist and socialist, and he was concerned for the welfare of working people and he wished to improve their lives. Because he was a professional composer already teaching at the Royal Academy of Music, for him the natural way to improve the lives of working people uh, was through music. Uh, so the Workers' Music Association in its early days uh, was much concerned with promoting concerts and pagans, uh, pagans as in your know, display of people with acting and music, and by these means to get across the message that working people have lives of their own, they deserve respect, and above all, they deserve social justice. So the idea was to try and further these aims through music. <laughs> assistant uh, tutor in the folk course. This year we focused on, well, most years we focused on a theme, and this year we focused on a theme of uh, international songs. So we've done songs from Spain, Chile, Africa, France, uh, Romania, the Romanian uh, street songs. Really got everybody really animated with that, it's really nice. <laughs> We did our concert last night, so I've got a bit of a relaxed day today. I'm doing the jazz uh, for beginners, so we've got to play a couple of songs tonight. Um, I find it, I'm mainly a singer, but I'm, I do play a bit of mandolin and banjo, and I'm finding working in the jazz as a student rather than as a, a teacher or assistant teacher. Uh, no, it's stretching me a bit, so it's really nice, and it's a lovely surrounding. Also, I've been helping run the bar this week, so that's kept me fairly busy when I haven't had anything to go to uh, course-wise. to play, see uh, if I could learn to play the cello with folk music. That was my sort of initial aim, really. When I arrived here, um, I got included in the chamber group and the string orchestra and the orchestra and the music was so challenging, uh, in, really enjoyable but I um, then didn't really get to do the folk, the folk music but that's, I've joined in singing folk you know, in concerts and things like that. But um, I just realised after that first year that I so enjoyed being able to play with other people every day for a week. Well, this week has been really quite exciting, uh, as the course usually is. Um, I first came on this course basically because I found it a bit more sort of eclectic than other courses I've been on. So I could do some singing, some violin playing and some guitar playing, so I wasn't restricted to one thing. Um, 
the course is sort of all inclusive so anyone can come along with some musical ability and be accepted and find something that they can do and and this week has been really nice it's been we've had a lot of different people doing a lot of different things and it's been really very enjoyable apples still grow in november when blossoms still grow from each tree when leaves are still green in december it's then that our land will be we are just at the end of the week of the WMA's summer school, which has been held ever since the year, I think, um, 1946. Tutors and their courses cover many different kinds of music and this is the other respect in which the school differs from other schools. Most schools tend to specialise in one kind of music, you know, jazz, folk, chamber music, classical, whatever. But this school takes many different kinds of music and it teaches courses in all those kinds of music.